gotta get my base out of here. One second. One second. What the? Yo, bro, y'all, y'all need to get y'all life together, man. It's just y'all, this love thing, y'all. And wh what is this? <laughs> Woo, bro, y'all need to get y'all life together. Y'all, y'all, y'all too in love. Too in love. You get over here, Queenie. You, you, sir, Mr. Don't go. Please don't go. All right, let's, let's just get you over here with Queenie. Ridiculous, man. Got my record player playing and, oh, man, what in the world? All right, so look. Shut the fuck up, folks. Johnny on Homo Depot! <laughs> Alright, so look, today. Alright, so I got these two bases in this week. Uh, and they are beyond amazing. Like, but I say that about all the bases. But I never had these kind of bases in here before, so I'm gonna bring them out. I'm gonna do it one at a time, um, but two different videos. Alright, so first of all. The first thing I want to do is actually introduce you to, this is the L2000. This is the L2000. It came in, of course, you know it didn't look like this. Right now, she's beautiful. Bolt on, three bolt neck, it's a boot. This is a boot base. A lot of people don't know what that means. This is a boot base. This is an early 90s, real early 90s, like 91, 92. That's what this is. It's got the switches, you know, the cut switches in it and stuff like that and preamp on, preamp off and stuff like that. Man, this is really a cool base. All right, so this is the first thing we're going to talk about. Oh, and it's got a drop detuner, which I'm not crazy about drop detuners, um, only because I never had to use them. All right, so let's turn this brand new amp on. Y'all, I got a brand new amp. And of course, this amp... Has no hone in it. <laughs> I was joking, y'all. I got the same more amp. When people come here, they be like, "Oh, yo, where's the amp, man? With, with no hone in it, right there." And then when they see it, they be like, "What? That's it? That's it? Now, where's my guitar? Cord? Where's my tuning cord?" <sighs> Lord Jesus. I mean, it's good that Hootie is in love. I mean, it's a good thing. Because that way he'll have to sit around here all day moping. All right, so first thing we'll do is tune it up. The L2000, let me tell you a little bit about it. Um, it is the this, this second, I would say the second kind of vibe that Leo came up with after he sold the Music Man. First was Defender, Jazz, and P-Basses from Leo. And then the second thing was the Music Man Basses. All right, and after he sold that out, pretty much, um, this was the third generation of uh, Leo stuff before he left us. This is, I mean, the man, I, I got to keep saying the man is a genius. I'm going to keep saying that until I, I can't say it no more. The man was a complete genius to come up with stuff like this. The body style and the pickups. All right, these pickups are completely different. All right, so when this bass came in, every it, it didn't, the neck had it neck issues. And I had to take all the, the magnets out of the pickups to clean them. Clean, took the pre completely out and took the bridge. Everything on this base been taken apart and cleaned and buffed. All right, so we got that done. All right, so basically, um, I got SITs on it. I don't have these fusion. These are fusion, but I, these are, are they yellow orange? Yeah, these might be fusions. All right, so anyway... 
We got it tuned. Now, the bass is really amazing, but it's, it has a different vibe, okay? If you're looking for that Music Man vibe, you can get that, but everything is different. Oh, let me make sure the amp is turned on. All right, so these basses, let me tell you, they got a little weight on them, and the neck is super fast. And it has that, that saber kind of vibe. So the first switch is a three-way switch. Rear. Both. Front. The middle one switch is the preamp, what they call a boost. And then this one in the back. If I'm not mistaken, it cuts uh, individually. So, so let's let's go with because everything is off right now. So let's go with treble. Oh, it has volume, treble, and bass. That's what it has. So let's go with treble at three quarters. Do I have the preamp on? It's on there. Let's go with front pickup first. And we're going through. We're gonna pan through the the front pickup, and each pickup has two. Consecutive. I say consecutive. Each pickup has two consecutives. No, two. It's two pickups in one. So we just we just going back and front. That's what we're going. So it's it's parallel series is what it is. All right. So we got the trouble at about three quarters. You ain't got no honey, you. Right, so let's turn the bass to about halfway. All right, so now we're going to turn both pickups on. Let's go to rear pickup first. I like the rear pickup. So let's go both pickups. Now, now I'm gonna tell y'all something y'all didn't even know. When I first met Andrew Goucher, he had one of these. All right, and I think he had the old version of one of these. This is the 2000. I think Andrew had uh, the first, the first GNL because I remember the two pickups looking like this, and man, he was killing. We was in Atlanta at the Gospel Music Workshop. It was my first time ever going to a GMWA, and Andrew was killing the stage that whole day. I didn't know who he was. Now, we're the best friends. Okay, so let's go with trouble at, I already said three quarters, right? Let's open it all the way. So let's open the bass at three quarters. Okay, now let's go through this switch, man, because it's middle switch, because it does something. I like that sound. Now let's go back to the other sound. Let's go to the rear switch and take it all the way to the back. In the middle. In the front. In the 
middle. Everything gets soft in the middle. Man, Andrew was killing this bass at the GMWA in 1982, I think it was. Woo, he was killing his bass. Woo, the tones he was getting was unbelievable. the GNLs is that they carry a completely different kind of preamp. Um, if you're looking for something to take your head off, it's not going to do it. Those preamps not going to do it. But they are they uh, Leo made them to do exactly what they supposed to do. Accomplish a compliment. I said a compliment. I said a compliment. Accomplish a compliment. <laughs> To fit this bass, that's what he made it for. He made it just to fit this bass, basically, because the customer who sent this bass actually sent the whole new preamp and brand new pickups, and I didn't see anything wrong with what he had in there, so I told him to stay with what he had in. Oh, the drop D. See, that's the D. Ah, uh, you know what I hear? Just a little bit off. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> so, guys. So, there you have it. I, I'm not going to keep playing this. Basically, I got I to gotta do this one. Y'all ain't seen that one. That's that's the L1500. And this is the 2000. L2000. But anyway, like I said, when this girl came in, she got a new fret work done. Um, all the preamp was taken out and put back together again. Everything on the base pick, uh, put back together and taken out. She is so beautiful. Um, if if you like what you heard, which I I really like what I heard. Look, like what I heard. <laughs> I really like what I heard. Anyway, keep praying for us, guys. Keep praying for the Hobo Depot. Pray for the Queen and I that this place will remain a watering hole for many. Man, I like this base. In fact, y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all this secret. I just got this one in. Don't tell the queen. I got it for me. Because I never owned one. I never owned an L1500. But wait till the demo come up. We're going to hear some stuff. Shout out to Kanga for Johnny Lano with the L2000. Shout out to Kanga for Johnny Lano Beautiful. Beautiful. We out of here. Okay, young man and young lady. We need to talk. You guys don't went and lost it again.